Welcome back. I'm Allison Kinnear. We are going over the seven good reasons to feel like an imposter. This is all based on the amazing book by Valerie Young. I suggest you take a look at it. There's the title down below. So let's get into it. We've already talked about the three good reasons. Today we are talking about the fourth. The fourth good reason is you work alone. Now, with the pandemic, I would argue that even if you are working on a team, even if you're working collaboratively, if you are working at home, you are working more alone than you have in the past. And if you are a solo entrepreneur, um, if you are an artist, if you are even sometimes as a teacher, if you're working in a place where there's a lot of isolation, then it's really easy to feel alone. And when you feel alone or when you are alone, you don't really have people that you can bounce ideas off of. You don't exactly have the checks and balances, the, the people to point out your blind spots and for you to be like acknowledged for the great things that you do. I keep thinking about, when I think about this, I keep thinking about something that I heard, which was if you put a person in a desert, right? There's no markers. Everything is flat around them and you ask them to walk in a straight line, they will think they're walking in a straight line. But actually what happens is they are walking in a circle, a big circle, because they have no landmarks to tell uh, what direction they're going in. And when you work alone, it can feel like, am I going anywhere actually? Or am I just walking in a circle? This is why we as humans are social creatures. We need each other. So the solution for this, if you work alone, if you work from home, if you feel isolated in your work, it becomes an absolute necessity if you want to break out of imposter syndrome to reach out to others. Now, mind you, reach out to trusted colleagues and friends, not just anyone will do. You really need to make sure that you're reaching out to trusted colleagues and or friends. They don't even need to know the nature of your work, but to have someone that you can connect with to talk about your work, to talk about the feelings around your work, it really needs to be a trusted person. Why? Because in order to get out of imposter syndrome, imposter syndrome tells you you're not good at anything. It racks you with self-doubt. It's pers You perseverate. You get stuck on things. You keep cycling back to it, back to it, back to it. Your mistakes tend to be big and mountainous. Um, there tends to be a lot of beating yourself up. It's exhausting. And in order to break out of imposter syndrome, then that requires you to get vulnerable and to not just talk about your work, but to talk about how you feel about your work. And you cannot talk about how you feel about your work or get vulnerable if with people who cannot be trusted because there are people out there who will absolutely take advantage of vulnerabilities, right? So we need to make sure that you are reaching out to trusted people and that you can talk about not just, oh, I've got these projects and these deadlines and things like that, but you can also talk about how are you feeling about it? How are you feeling about your work? Those small moments of confiding, of having tender moments, of being able to open up. Again, like last video, we talked about the, the importance of sharing a me too moment with people. Then you can kind of realize that I'm not alone. Okay. But that requires, especially if you work alone, if you are an entre a solopreneur, if you are an artist, if you are in anything where you can really get stuck in your own head and get in your own way, really need to take that step of reaching out to people who you, even if you don't know if you can trust them, you think you can. Chances are I would trust your gut instinct on it. Okay. Reach out to them and open up. Oh, number four, tomorrow I will share the fifth good reason 
to feel like an imposter. And, um, and if you want to attend my workshop on You Are Not a Fraud, Overcoming Imposter Syndrome, this is the talk that I've given to Google, to Amazon, to Microsoft multiple, multiple times. It is my most popular talk. I will be giving it to you to the public for the first time ever on August 18th at noon Pacific time, 3 p.m. Eastern. I hope to see you there. I will put a link in the comments below for how you can join that event. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. I will see you next time for the fifth good reason to feel like an imposter. Take care.